Well, what's going on guys? TTL here. Today going to be going over my top five MLB plays for today. Today is September 26th, 2023. A lot of good plays today on prize picks, on underdog, and Don Sleeper. So if you're not signed up to any of those three sites, make sure to sign up using code TTL. You'll get a 100% deposit match up to $100 on both prize picks and sleeper. And guys, underdog has a special deal going on right now. If you sign up to underdog and you use code TTL, you will get a deposit match up to $500 instead of the regular $100 match. So make sure to sign up to underdog, use that code TTL or the link in the uh, comments down below. It's insane guys. You can get up to $500 completely free when you make your first deposit. So um, this is only going on until the beginning of October or um, I think it's October 4th if we want to be specific. So make sure to uh, sign up before October 4th, use that code TTL and make your first deposit. So you get that match up to $500, but underdog is crazy for doing this. Definitely take advantage of that. Um, other than that, if you guys are interested in getting my VIP plays, I post my exact price picks, underdog and sleeper slips every single day in discord. Um, to get access, you just go to the Patreon link in the description or in the comments and you just purchase the VIP. Um, again, you get complete prize picks, underdog, and sleeper slips. I post every single slip that I personally play. Um, you get sports book bets for both sports and esports. We do VIP only live streams, VIP only watch parties, VIP only giveaways. Um, you just get a ton of access and a ton of stuff just for $20 a month. So make sure to go ahead and sign up, guys. And let's get into the video. Let's get into these picks. So let's go ahead and uh, pull up these strikeouts per game, the strikeout rankings for each team. And let's take a look at what props we are liking for today. Um, first off, on price picks, I absolutely love Tanner Houck under five and a half strikeouts. He's versus Tampa Bay. Um, the Rays are an amazing team this year, first of all. And then Tampa are 20th in the league for strikeouts per game, averaging 8.8 .8 strikeouts per game, and actually averaging 11 Ks over their last three. So that's the only scary part, is that his line is only five and a half, and they're averaging double digit over their last three. Uh, but we'll go to our partners at liar.bet. We'll change these props to strikeouts, and we can take a look. I actually like setting the minimum odds to around minus 150. And then I uh, do the hit rate from 2023 this entire season. And we can see um, Tanner Houck has stayed under five and a half strikeouts in 68% of his games this season. The odds that this stays under is around minus 120 on sports books. Over his last five, he stayed under in four out of five. Over his last 10, he stayed under in seven out of 10. And in 2023, he has stayed under in 68%, which is 13 of 19 games. So definitely loving this spot for him unfortunately in his last game versus tampa he actually got six strikeouts the one before that was in 2021 so not really relevant but on june 4th he did get six k's versus tampa bay that's the only scary part um other than that i mean it's pretty even with how his normal performance is so really think he's going to stay under i like this under five and a half today um, next in line, I actually like these. Uh, the next two plays are going to be better on Sleeper. So again, if you're not signed up to Sleeper, use code TTL as well. You'll get a $100 match. But I have Adrian Hauser versus the Cardinals over four strikeouts. Now, this is a play I like on Sleeper because it's three and a half instead of four. So something about Sleeper is it's like a sports book. So there's odds for each play that you get. And... For Hauser, for example, they don't. Something I love about Sleeper is they don't do pushes. Every single line that you will find on Sleeper will be a 0.5 line. It's not going to be a 0 0.0. So Hauser's down at three and a half. You just get a little bit of worse odds for it. But I would rather take the safer play without push potential. But Hauser's versus the Cardinals. Cardinals are ranked 10th in the league, averaging eight strikeouts per game, 10 strikeouts over their last three on average. And the over three and a half is all the way up at minus 160, minus 170 odds on certain sports books. Over his last five, he's went over in four out of five. Over his last 10, he's went over in eight out of 10. 
in the head-to-head. -head. He's went against them in eight times. He's went over three. Um, this season, he's only went against them once, and he went over. And then in 2023, he's went over this line in 68% of his games, which is 13 of 19 games. Um, the line has been moving from 4.5 to 3.5 on sportsbooks a lot today. So we'll really just have to see how this is going to go, how this is going to perform. But I like this play. Again, it's minus 160 on sportsbooks, so I'm going to go ahead and take that over. Next in line, I have Justin Steele over five. So there's two things that I don't like about this play, but I'm going to take it anyways. One, it's versus the Braves. I absolutely love the Braves. If you have been following the channel for a while, you know I am a Braves fan. Um, I've been to multiple Braves games, not this year, unfortunately. Um, but I'm, I live very close um, to Georgia, so I go to the Braves games quite often. Unfortunately, um, not this year yet. But I love the Braves, but unfortunately, I do think Steele is going to get over 5Ks versus them. And then the other thing is that this is 4.5 on Sleeper, so I do prefer the 4.5 line, of course. Um, but let's take a look at this. Atlanta is fifth in the league, averaging just under eight strikeouts per game. And when we take a look at Steele, he's actually hit this. He's a minus 150 odds to go over 4.5. Over his last five, he's went over in all five. Over his last 10, he's went over in all 10. And in the head-to-head, -head, he went versus the Braves earlier this year. He got seven Ks. Over his last 20 starts, he's went over in 16 of 20, 80% um, of the time. And in the entire season, he's played 29 games. He's went over in 21 of them. Um, definitely loving this line today, especially at the four and a half line that you can get on sleeper and on sports books. But do remember what I said that this is versus the Braves. The Braves can just pop off any given day and just score like 10 runs. So you never know. But I do like this Justin Steele play over four and a half strikeouts and over five Ks. Um, next in line, we actually have, you can find him, Joey Lucchesi. Under four and a half strikeouts versus Miami. Miami are pretty good at not striking out. They're sixth in the league, averaging under eight strikeouts per game. And then you have Lucchesi. It's minus 155 odds on Caesars to go under four and a half. In 2023, he's only played eight games. He stayed under four and a half Ks in five of those. Um, this is a pretty bad matchup for him. Over his last 10 games, he stayed under in 50%. He's only played eight games this season, though, like I said. So I just don't expect him to play many innings because I feel like the Marlins could uh, score on him pretty easily and just get some runs on him and get some hits on him. So loving this matchup, um, taking that under for Lucchesi. And then finally, last is Aaron Nola under seven strikeouts versus the Pirates. So Nola is a player I usually take his over. Um, I'm on the Nola train for the most part, um, especially versus the Pirates. It kind of sucks because taking an under versus the Pirates. Um, Pittsburgh are 21st in the league, averaging almost nine strikeouts per game this season. I'm still taking the under. Aaron Nola under six and a half is barely plus money. And in 2023, he stayed under six and a half in 20 of 31 starts, 65% of games. And then if you include the sevens, it'll be one, two, three, four. It'll be 24 of 31 that he's pushed or stayed under. So I like this play. I like him to go under, and I'm going to take that with confidence. So these are my top five plays for prize picks, guys. I'm only playing one unit on the five pick, then I'm doing some two pick pairings. If you guys would like to get those two pick pairings, three pick pairings and such, feel free to join the Patreon. Again, the link is in the description and in the comments. It's only $20 a month and get a ton of value. But thank you guys so much for all the support lately. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment if you're going to tell any picks. And I'll see you guys in the next video.